Welcome back, Tam Fam. Today we are talking to couples who found their love works best outside the traditional box. Most successful relationships have a home, at least one source of income, right? Because you don't want to fight over money and where you're going to live. Well, my next guest gave up on both those crucial cornerstones and are now taking care of strangers' pets for free all around the world. And by the looks of it, it seems to work for them. Take a look. Hi, I'm Jory. And I'm Austin. And we travel the world as pet sitting nomads. We always wanted to experience new countries together, but we couldn't afford it. And that's when we discovered an app that allowed us to combine our two favorite passions, traveling and pets. So we quit our job as a landscaper and social media marketer, and we left our home in Oregon, and now we care for pets for free while their owners are away on vacation. <laughs> Since January of this year, we booked tickets to places like Germany, Gibraltar, Grenada, and all throughout the Pacific Northwest, pet sitting dogs, cats, and even chickens. It's amazing. It's like having our own little tour guides with these pets who are taking us on their favorite walks to their favorite beaches, and we get to explore amazing areas with them. We took a big leap of faith, leaving our traditional lifestyles to pursue this dream. But it's transformed our relationship and opened the door to adventures that we never thought were possible. Wow! Austin Andrews and his girlfriend, Jory Kerr, join me. I, listen, I, I'm a little envious now. I mean, I'm looking at your pictures. First of all, Jory, it has to feel freeing, but also terrifying to give up stability for this adventure. Yeah, I think... It's really interesting because we get that question a lot and I think that's the natural response for people yeah. when, you know, the traditional lifestyle is what is ex expected. But, you know, we never were that scared because this was... Even financially? Passion. Because of you, were, you, you were in digital, you're in landscaping, both of those pay very well because we need both. And you're saying, okay, I'm going to do this job, but for free. Why does it have to be for free? Right. So, yeah, it's a confusing concept. But so the free aspect is so, you know, there's no exchange of funds, which opens up the doors for us to travel all over the world. Okay. If there was exchanging of funds, it gets a little complicated. But uh, with that, the... Like, who pays for your ticket? We, yeah, so the, the cost of the travel is on us. And addressing the financial side of it, uh, we saved and prepared for this. Ah, for okay, because I was going to say, do you have some rich uncle that left money? No, like, <laughs> no, so no. You, you, so you kind of planned this out. It wasn't like a fly by the seat of your pants. You planned it out and had savings. Yeah. yeah. So for the last about three years, we've been saving to do this. Um, it was a dream of ours to travel the world and be able to experience the culture in a more intimate way. So do you screen the people that you go into? Because yes. I would be thinking, they got cameras in here. <laughs> yeah. Like this dog yeah. collar is really a camera. Sure. How do you learn if you're in a safe environment? Sure. Yeah, so it's kind of a learning curve. So the website we use, it sets us up for success okay. by providing you know, guidance of encouraging you, to, encouraging you to set up video calls and such. But, and also there are profiles so we apply, uh -huh. and their profile is fully listed as well. Okay, so shows... there are security measures in place to make yeah. sure you're right. safe. But, I mean, the fact that you do this for free, I have a dog. In New York City, do you know you can make $100 a night? Oh, yeah. yeah. Babysitting <laughs> you know. a dog? Yeah. And you're foregoing this <laughs> cash? Correct. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's the... That's the great part about it, though, is that we now get to travel to over 130 countries where the app is located. What's been the most amazing experience together? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Probably Grenada. Yeah. Grenada, a small island. On my list. I need yeah. to dog sit for free. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Um, the island is amazing. The people there are incredible. Yeah. And it's just a way that we got to be in the community. Um, instead of staying in a hotel or an Airbnb, yeah, yeah. we were able to actually be involved right. with the community. So, so it sounds like you had the plan, you executed the plan, you were enjoying the plan, no regrets. But of course, there are always people who say, what are you thinking? Yeah. And coming up, how did Austin and Jory's loved ones react to the news that they were becoming pet sitting nomads. Jory's best friend is here with her uncensored reaction you don't want to miss after the break. <laughs> Welcome back, Tam Fam. What's the secret to your relationship being successful? Today, we're talking to couples who found something that works for them 
that others might not be sold on. But like my mom says, if you like it, I love it. 27-year-old Austin and 23-year-old Jory say their relationship has been improved by giving up on traditional careers and having this new career, really, pet sitting for free around the world. They've gone viral documenting their adventures on TikTok with over 5 million views on their videos. But when they first announced their plans to their family and friends, some expressed, you know, like, is this the right idea? Jury's best friend, Maddie, joins us. All smiles now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maddie, for being here. So I have had the same best friend since I was four years old. Sonia Franklin has been my best friend since four years old. We bounce things off of each other all the time. And there have been many times that she said, what are you thinking? I don't think you should do that, Tamron. Yes. <laughs> when Jory came to you, you said... I said, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> like, how are you going to first financially support this, like, yeah. mission, you know? Yeah. With all the flights, travel's expensive. Everybody knows that. And I think that's, like, one of the big things that holds everybody back from traveling. Yeah. So expensive. So I'm like, how are you going to financially do this? And why are you quitting your job? <laughs> like, what are you going to have? Was this in, in character for her? Was this, like, something that she... Were you <laughs> <Yes>. surprised? <laughs> Jory, Jory and Austin are both outside-the-box kind of thinkers. Uh -huh. You know, they don't like the traditional way of life. Um, and I think that's a good thing, you yeah. know? To think outside-the-box and think different than everybody else. And... But as the best friend, did you say, was this his idea? No. <laughs> no. suspicious of him. <laughs> Jory definitely came up with the idea, that's for sure. I was just like, are we sure this is the best idea? What was your biggest fear that would, you know, what could go wrong? Other than financial ruin. Financially, that was my biggest concern. Yeah. Is it going to be sustainable for him? Um, but like safety-wise, I was like, what happens yeah. if you're... You know, in this foreign country, you don't know anybody. And what happens other. if you get sick? Something happens, and that kind of happened to you. Yes. So when we stopped over in Italy briefly, I actually had a situation where I had to go to the Italian ER, and that was quite the experience. No one there spoke English. So <laughs> we were communicating through pieces of Spanish. Uh, that was the most we could get across. And, you know... It, that's a really scary thing yeah. when you're far away from home like that and you're not with your family. And Austin stood in, in the yard and waited hours for me Aww. while I went through that process. But uh, I think the takeaway from it was the people were so kind and comforting. Yeah. And I was clearly distraught because I, he couldn't come with me into the back. Yeah. And that was really scary. But they, people want to help you. Yeah. And so they, they recognized that and they did their best to make me feel comfortable. And I even made some friends in the ER. I and, love it. Yeah. I so. Love it. so Austin, when you look back at it and even, you know, with friends saying, oh, is this the right thing? What did it do for your relationship? Because that was the whole thing yeah. is if you like it, I love it. How did it build your love? Yeah, I think it just really opened up our communication. It really brought us closer in talking about our concerns and our issues and that's what really brought us together is that we wanted to overcome the doubt and we wanted to fulfill our dreams and Aww. by working together and talking it through it really it blossomed into what it is now and that's that's really huge for us oh well listen i was with team maddie and i'm still team maddie be careful <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> be safe and if you're in new york there's a dog named Exodus. <laughs> she is uh, five months old. She is 50 pounds already. I'm going to book you. All right. All right. All, All right. Thank you, Austin, Jory, Maddie, the best friend everybody needs.